Hello everyone! Welcome, Welcome back to another video. To another video. We say another video like it's just been on it popping, but like we've done a video we did a video yesterday. Yeah. We apologize, I promise. I know we really do. I know we make a lot of false promises, but like at the end of the day, you guys don't know what's going on. <laughs> no, this video, I feel like I feel like we've said this so many times. Literally, but it's that's never, how I'm laughing. That's how I'm laughing. It never got people. posted. No, it never, you know what? Right, it never got freaking posted because um, the thing is that what had happened was, you guys know I'm a quick deleter. So Leo's computer was like, it was just a couple things about it that was pissing me off that she had to change. <laughs> And I just took the initiative to just change it and I ended up just deleting everything. And I needed that, honestly. I needed that cleanse. Typical me move. Because it was really like a lot. And like there's more videos in my memory card. Where's the memory card? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have it. I have to look through the five billion memory cards. <laughs> I have I thought it was like somewhere in the mix of all the porn trips that fell in my <laughs> in my book bag. <laughs> maybe it's there or maybe Leo got it. I don't know. I just know that my little adapter is in the in the in the book bag, so I feel like it has to be somewhere between the corn chips. I just didn't want to touch, touch the corn chips. But guys, today we're gonna update you guys on what's been going on, on um, you know, everything, our life, or the channel, and the changes that we have us, made, our love for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we have Stacy in the background who's gonna read us the questions that we have, and it's just. You might just throw in random questions as we go. So. Yeah. First of all, I'm sure everybody wants to know where have you guys been? <laughs> where have you guys all been? Right, all right, straight up. I. It's excuses. This is me thinking I'm an excuse. It's truthfully excuses. I we we've been, been so busy, busy. We've been busy. doing so much other things. Typically, that like, no. <laughs> we're grandmothers now. No, no, honestly, guys. Typically, we just act like we'd be like, yo, we've been so busy. But the so busy is in my house watching TV. No bullshit. Yeah. But this time, we actually have been very, very, very like super, super busy. So busy. Like, that, like we don't even have time to like sleep correctly. Like, no, li literally. And by ten o'clock, even though it's right now, it's eleven thirty-three. This is like way past our grandma bedtime. But by ten o'clock, <laughs> we're like this leaning. Like we do one reaction video, and then we're like. Yo, we're gonna edit it. Tomorrow's editing day. That's it. <laughs> and then uh, 10 days pass, and uh, what happened to the freaking videos? I probably deleted no, all the like, videos. The goes <laughs> no, and then we and then when we're pissed, we're like, cause they like at work when they piss us off, cause they don't understand how busy we are. We do so much. And so much is go home, eating, and watching this <laughs> We be busy because yo, I have to send out three of my basketball orders like by Friday. I don't know how that's gonna happen. Yeah, and, and I just do like, parties. Like this, so that it's just like we're just so busy. The thing is that we have to have better time management. We have to plan accordingly. We have to plan better accordingly. Whatever. You guys know what <laughs> we have to plan mean, accordingly. Man. Yeah, that we have to plan accordingly. And um, I don't know if this is gonna get posted. Truthfully, like. We're just trying to get into the groove of things and hopefully and this I makes think we're, sense. I think that we're, we're, we're stopping the exaggeration. I think we're going to just wet our feet again and just like do this like not like oh go every day, every day. I yeah, because the thing is that we try to start aggressively. We're going to do six reactions, you edit three, I edit three. And, and that just never four. works because if we go from being so busy doing other things to doing that, then it's just like, oh damn. And then editing a reaction isn't the funnest, I'm not going to lie. So it's like sometimes when it's a video like a vlog or like something that you can add cool edit to mm -hmm. and like I get super excited to do those. But when it comes to a reaction, man, I barely want to hear it. I know you guys seen some of the videos that the mouths don't match with the with the song because I just don't <laughs> feel like doing it. So, like, so sometimes that's like a huge thing. Like, editing reactions are not fun. Doing thumbnails are definitely not fun. And yeah, that's just that. That's. And now this question is while well, we answered it very lengthy, very that's yeah, like, that was a lot. Like, <laughs> like, whoa! <laughs> totally I right. forgot the earlier question was. Yeah. <laughs> all right next question are you guys done with your channel or what because the consistency is not there <laughs> honestly i think that ending the channel has never been a thought at least for me like, i'm done i just feel like <laughs> i'm never never gonna be done i just Ever. feel like eventually we're gonna get it together and lately literally lately 
like we haven't spoke about youtube we obviously haven't been posting but random the randomest people that we would have never thought watched our channel has been coming to us and telling us like like a lot like, of people have been coming on yeah here. like so random like people that i would never ever in this life like even my sad sister who's like a bitch like she even, she's still waiting for the fruit video she's though. she's like what she goes you're slack you guys are slacking yeah so it's just like I don't know that 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 definitely helps me like yo people actually watch like we gotta get it together I know so, I don't even know what the question was <laughs> <laughs> but no we're oh, not no, the, ending. Video, the ending I mean whatever yeah that that <laughs> wait wait can you see go ahead you can ask the next we could cut that oh oh you guys edit yeah oh my god oh my god we're trying to think of a different question oh okay um <laughs> so grass Target. Target. There we go. That was mad expensive. This was that was really corny and please. Ten dollars? Ten dollars. She's rich. <laughs> I'm not paying ten dollars for that. No. And, no, no way. Way. and you bought two. Oh, Twenty dollars. Oh, no. no, you look for the receipt so I can scan it. <laughs> she would give you all, right, all right. Alright, so we all know you guys are from Providence. But where would you guys prefer to live? Like Atlanta. some people say they love their hometown, but Is that how you do that? Hey! <laughs> Hey. But what's your reasoning? Like, because the culture there is amazing. Like, because honestly, truthfully, the culture there is amazing, and like you just go to places and you just see inspiring people. Like people are just always doing things. Like here, I feel like mm -hmm. it's not. There's a small group of people that are doing things, but over there, everybody's doing something, and mm -hmm. everybody is willing to work with you too. They're so open to working with you. Yeah. Like, random people that you don't even know are like, hey, you do this? All right, let's collab. Like, mm -hmm. that's why I love Atlanta. It's so you guys like know, different. there's like a New York and there's like a Cali creative world over there. Atlanta's the next thing there. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I wouldn't live in New York because it's too saturated, it's too loud. I wouldn't live in Cali because it's just too far and the food don't smack. Atlanta's just a good mix of good. what we like, good food, good vibe, good energy to mm -hmm. people we like to be around. And I don't know, we just had we have had a lot of good experiences there. Yeah. Like it's it, always a good time and we yeah. always feel homesick to come back home. So I Literally. feel like that's definitely the spot. It's just a lot of great opportunities out there. Mm-hmm. Are you guys done with reactions since that was something that you guys used to do a lot? No. We're still gonna do it for our music peeps, but we are going to do kind of different things. Like ever dropping merch. I feel like once we get our group again, um, and we get our group <laughs> again. No, for real. Like for real, we really. Want yeah, because we're we're not gonna honestly, truthfully, we, um, merch is not coming until we get like like uh, like shit on and popping. On and popping. Because honestly, we haven't even had merch for ourselves. That's how bad it's been. <laughs> no, we have. We have. We, we have usually it's to make it out. At least me, I'm always it's to make it out. I always have it's to make it everything, but. Even the mug is peeling at this point. <laughs> yeah, so I got your... We love you. It's, it's coming. One day, it's coming. So, if you guys were in this scenario, say you're on a date, first date, with mm -hmm. somebody who... And you guys have dope conversation, the vibe lit, but the tab comes, and he asks you, yo, you got half? What is your reaction? Like, what do you do in that moment? <laughs> I would pay my half, bro. I'm never gonna pay my half. <laughs> I would pay my half too. And you know what? I might pay for the whole time because you're broke. <laughs> no, no. I, <laughs> you're broke, I don't feel bad. But like, I, you know that happened to me before. I paid the whole time. Spill, spill. Story time. time. <laughs> tab. But we'll get into that a little <laughs> later, yeah, actually, yeah. For, different, for story time. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm probably gonna, like, I'm gonna be tight after and I'm gonna text all my friends after. But I'm definitely gonna just try to cover the whole tab because that's gonna be I'm gonna be embarrassed for him for sure. Yeah, that's like, like really embarrassing. Like it's so embarrassing that like you don't even want to talk about it because that's how embarrassing it is because it's embarrassing for the both of you guys. Like that's so embarrassing on my part too that I just took the time to go out and date with somebody who just said half. Like that's embarrassing that's to you. No, even imagine if he goes to the waiter. Waiter, can you just this? Can you give me my one check? Can you the half? I'm gonna, like, I'm just gonna take on my card now. Just take, just take this, and I'm gonna be burning later. <laughs> wow, no, that's crazy though. That really be happening. Mm -hmm. No, that it really does. Be happening. Oh, trust it does. Shit. So, how do you guys feel about men that are 25? No, nah, not even 25. That's that's giving them too much, too much room. Uh -huh. 23 and up with no car. Oh shit. Woo! Woo! I know a few. If you're going, no, I'm forgetting. <laughs> <it. laughs> you're trying to be nice. Um, 
How do you get around? How do you like do your things, your day to day stuff? Do you have a job? <laughs> and if so, what are you doing to check? <laughs> no, because it's just like so, priority. So I gotta pick them up. You gotta pick them up. Unless you want an Uber. What if it's like outside your Uber and pay for it? No, no, no man, no. Uber's no. dangerous though. Like if you're in front, if you're from the city, like New York City, you would know why somebody wouldn't have a car because it's just, it's just no point. It's yeah, just but like my nigga, nigga, after your. Uh, uh, I know after a certain, certain age, age come, like, on, come on, man. That's, that sounds wild. Like, I understand New York is very expensive and stuff, but like, like I didn't have a car for me because I got into a car accident, but I still, I still you had a car prior. Quick, no, but you had a car prior to that. Right. It's not like you didn't have a car and then you're now at 26 just getting a car. Like, no, that's right. That's no, right. like, come on, get it together. Alright, what do you guys think the cutoff limit is for a guy to be living at home still with his parents? Dirty. It de I feel like it depends dirty. where you're from, but you, you definitely dirty. Yeah, but like dirty. it depends from like it depends on where you're from. Cause again, we're going back to New York. Yo, it's tough to it's live in tough, a yo. A, a freaking studio is gonna be a thousand five hundred dollars, and it's it's just tough. But. It's depending. So like if you are living with your thing, but like you have your own like kind of space, I think downstairs or something, the like, basement. and you're trying to have a plan on what the fuck you want to do. And like you, I don't know. You know I feel like a, as no. long as a, pl a plan is in the works, no right? Judgment. Of course, no judgment. <laughs> yeah, no, for real, for real. But like it, it, it like at thirty, you should start considering like a, make a, like, make so, other like, choices. Right. So if you're like going out all the time and you're still living with your parents, like those are the kind of things that it's just like whoa. Like, like, but if you're working hard and you, you have plans on what you want to do, then cool. But as long as there's a plan, if you're just always out wasting your money and just being a bozo and bye. No, nah, definitely. No, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> All right. So, what are your guys' upcoming goals for the next three months or so? I'm just gonna say one word: consistency. Yes. Consi consistency. Jesus. Literally. That's it. That's just it. Really, like. like I don't want to say I don't want to make any promises right we to kind of do that a lot I just want to like have a, a plan between us obviously mm -hmm. not say to you guys can we be lying but just have a plan between us and just meet goals like little goals and then from there we can just you know elevate more and more and more and that's pretty much it for me same thing like for get YouTube it's just literally get I think that is just what I'm what I'm trying to work on. I'm trying to do smaller goals instead of like doing huge shit. Yeah, like, I gotta be realistic. And my life has done a transition, so I'm like trying Drastic. to adjust to mad different shit. So it's just like, I, 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 this is what I love. This is what I do. Like, you know what I mean? I, I think about this shit all the time. Like when we, when I tell you we think we talk about this all the time, we really do. But it's just mm -hmm. like, yo. But it's, it's just, just, a, it's just finding, so uh, finding the schedule, finding everything, just to put it in and and don't I this is never stopping right but, yeah we love to see it right guys alright <laughs> 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 what kind of things will you guys be talking about in your next upcoming video do you guys have different ideas so it's now it's time I'm guessing it's time to talk about what we're gonna be doing mm -hmm. next so as you were saying um, we're probably gonna the part that I was saying is gonna get cut off. Yeah. But what I was saying, um, pretty much on our YouTube for It's Amigas, our channel for It's Amigas, we usually do reactions to music, but we're trying to like, we're gonna do some reactions, but we're trying not to have that channel consists of just that. Mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna start a podcast. This is something I really And we're gonna just to talk do. about mad different shit. Raw shit, real shit, relationships, just men, women, just everything overall, like the industry, like you know, famous people, YouTubers, the whole nine. And mm -hmm. we're very, very excited about that. And I really I really wanna do like um I've seen other podcasts do it. Like people give their private questions. I'm um, like yeah, like people want opinions and people want like i want to read people's stories out loud but obviously mm -hmm. like what i'll say in their name and then us answer yes that's good like what we think in our opinion to help those people and that can be any topic that could be 
your living situation that can be um depression that can be relationships that can be anything like anything that would help other people that we can try to help other people at least because obviously yeah. we're humans we all go through shit yeah so that's that's one of the things and pretty much just continue putting on content the same stuff but that's one of the new new things that mm -hmm. were in the works so. and then our other channel obviously you guys know we have two channels um we we do want to do the whole vlogging stuff there mm -hmm. so we're going on a trip soon we're gonna we're going to vlog it stacy make sure we vlog it actually take the camera and record us too yeah i got you and um yeah that's gonna be something fun to look forward to because it's a girl's trip and yeah just stay tuned for that how do you guys feel about our generation between men and women what do you feel like needs to change or get better or where certain sides lack i freaking hate this generation it's so freaking bad i hate it I i'm hate gonna it. say like things are so this is like such a deep question that this is a good thing for a podcast mm -hmm. to talk about oh, social media <laughs> social media is has been the main source for so many things because that's just where it's just like it's like an evil place almost like as oh, much gee. as we love social media it's so evil in people, many aspects be, people tend to just ha scroll down for hours and look at their life and feel like they're not where they should be get depressed or men will see these other men going out and feel like that's what they have to be doing to be living life mm -hmm. or women would see the, all these other women look a certain way they go and wear certain things look. or like i even catch myself like being like damn i'm i need to get it together but i'm comparing myself to somebody who gets fucking fucking massages and goes and does like all these extra stuff that i don't do yeah like you know what i mean it's just like that can afford all these it's just a very evil place and just like i feel like if social media didn't exist i feel like things would be a tiny bit and relationships would i feel like conversations would be longer like conversation would be real and like things would just be real i think i think everything is just so fake now but that's just my same pretty much same when it comes to everything it, it's it's a it, Social media now has just caused so much, so much shit. Issue. Little kids going through it, you know, mm -hmm. being suicidal. Cause I don't know, it's just, it's just disgusting. I hate this freaking generation. I feel like I was supposed to be born back in the freaking day, and that's just how I feel. It sucks. It's why I get stupid. Mm -hmm. It's like no respect for nothing. Yeah, the respect literally. is it is. It's like not even on some. Let me let it go. It's on some. All right, what should I'm about to do back to you? Type yeah. shit like zero respect and i don't know and i feel like but when it comes to men and women relationships you'll find your person everybody has that person like and there's somebody out there for everyone like trust mm -hmm. me especially talking and this is something that we're going to bring to the podcast bringing older people into the podcast to talk about their relationships and what they've been through because like when you hear all this shit it's just like you think that you're going through od but it's just like you haven't even been through anything yet and just to see what their their relationship is at now it's just like it's kind of beautiful you know what i mean because that's just not easy but yeah and we all know you guys have been friends since kids have you guys ever had a friend because you guys do have like your own separate mm -hmm. friends uh -huh. um have you guys ever had a friend that was just like a weird ass bitch like you know you can tell when someone's just not genuinely your friend have you guys ever encountered that been in that situation and if so like what were the red flags for you yeah, I don't feel like I have. No, I don't think so either because I don't get close to people. I just feel like all the, the friends that I have are all from when I was little. Mm -hmm. Same friends. Me too. I don't really... Like, I wouldn't I'll consider... I have I just feel that. like I wouldn't consider those people my friend, if anything. If there was one, I, I really can't think of from the top of my head. But literally every single friend that I have, I've known for over 10 years. Yeah. So would you say you guys are closed off when it comes to making new friends? Yes, 100%. As you get older, it's just different. Things yeah, are just, I get like it's just different. Is like fast. you know what I mean. Like having too much friends is is just that's this setting off. Like yo, and it's just you know too I mean? much personalities. It's just annoying. It's it's off because the thing nervous. is that like I want people around me who are who, who really fuck with me and are really gonna be there for me because I do shit from the from my heart. Like everything that I do, I don't do it because 
I'm trying to get brownie points. I do it because because I I love the person, so it's like mm-hmm. that's what I expect in from return. the person in return. So it's just like that. I don't. That's why I don't put myself out there to a lot of people. I'm very very cool. Though. And it's and it's sometimes we have hung out with other people that we're cool with and stuff, and they'll be like, oh, we're like, now and get back. <laughs> <laughs> not coming back like we try not not like we don't real. try but, like, but we have people that i know i like people that i know that like you know hang out for certain things but would i say that's my friend friend no and like and i know you're my friend that i can reach out to you when I, like we don't have to talk every day we don't have to i know you're my friend because if i'm reach, i have friends like that. one of my friends are it's uh literally i don't have <laughs> and literally like every time we link it's like we be hanging out all the time like that's that she's one of my really good friends yeah the rest is a1 shout out to you Dada. shout out to Risa and juan and juan Risa and juan together i just it baby <laughs> literally them together is literally the life of the party mm-hmm. like there's there it's just amazing with them two both but yeah and i know we're all in our 20s and neither of you guys have kids yet. What are your guys' thoughts on kids? You guys want kids? You're so if I was rich, age? I didn't even let you finish because I. Not you good. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> people. If I was, if I had like, if I had the financial status that I would like to have, like, I would have kids right now because I'm already 27. Like, why not? But I don't want my kids to struggle at all. So mm-hmm. I'm just gonna wait on it. But definitely would like to have kids um sooner than later. Like, like. 32 the latest i would say yeah oh my god kids that's are very important jay's <laughs> gonna be freaking <laughs> out in high school by the time i have kids no, he is. so no, you can babysit <laughs> yeah. well, so if you guys found out you were pregnant like tomorrow morning <laughs> what's your reaction like are you crying are you just are you Not happy this face right now i'm like this <laughs> i'm crying <laughs> Is it tears of joy or tears of like fuck? Tears of scared. <laughs> tears of scared. Uh, I'll be like this. Tears of scared. <laughs> I'm gonna have. I'll be like this. Sure. Why did I have to? Why did I have to throw that? First of all, <laughs> I'm gonna blame. I'm gonna blame him. I start thinking about the oh. whole thing like, like yep, it was in the moment, moment that like, why was I so dumb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm, no, no. I'm not gonna take responsibility at all. I'm gonna blame him. <gasps> I freaking told him. You're gonna blame him. But at the end of the day, I'm still gonna have my baby. I'm, I'm have not fucking baby. five years old to be having, doing the whole nine. To like, each its own, but like, I, I'm old, like, come on. Maybe they'll push me to freaking get it together. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a baby. God, but not right now, but God, I'm, not right now. Me and my baby, both babies, we're gonna be babies. Together. We're gonna pretty much raise <laughs> each other. <laughs> we're gonna cry together. You're gonna cry together. We're gonna raise each other. Because me? Like, it's for some reason when a baby's crying so much, you're like, you can tell, I'd be with infants, I'd be like, I love, oh my god, I'm obsessed with infants. I'd be like, oh. you see, Michael Pass, I'd be the infant sage. Take care. I love, I Take love him, I love him, I love him. Then when they're like eight so months, baby. come to me. Eight months, baby. That's the way you can have them back for sure, because that's when they're annoying and they want to touch. Yes. I like when they oh, snow when they yeah, snow. No, no, because they're so little and just I can't. I love them. They're so small. cute when they're small. But I'd be like, oh my god, I gotta change this diaper. Hell yeah, that should be free. Alright, this could be the last one. I think we're good after this. What are you guys' thoughts on marriage? I, I'm married. In my head. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, I definitely I want to be married. a wife. Like, for sure. I hope I'm a wife before I, I want know. to be a wife, and that's it. That's how I'm feeling. I'm going to be a mom But do you guys feel like marriage is necessary? Like, some people believe it's just a piece of paper. It is. It is. But you, would you guys, want the like, ring? We could don't have, we don't have to have the piece of paper. We could just have the ring. Excuse me, the ring. That's <laughs> I just want to go like this. <laughs> that's it. Not like, like I, I just can't wait to go be like, my husband? <laughs> like, that's what I want to do. My no, husband and I have to control first. Oh no, just put it on my husband's card. That's it. Yeah. I want to have the same last name as my baby, and my baby, and I'm and my baby's gonna have obviously his father's last name. Notice that's what it is. Um, Abby's announcing her pregnancy right now. Me <laughs> and Chacha. Hence the blue shirt. <laughs> no guys. She's giving you guys signs. No guys. God. Not right now, Jesus. My mom still makes me soup. <laughs> 
<laughs> my mom cooked for me today and said, um, heat up your food. And I was having a heart attack because it tastes nasty because of my freaking condition. But guys, that concludes our question. Thank you to our question asker, <laughs> Stacy. That will soon be in the cut. Podcast. <laughs> soon be in the podcast. Soon be in the podcast. Uh, yes. So if you want to see what Stacey looks like, get ready because she is. Fine. And you can't find her, so don't try. <laughs> All right. Period. Literally, she's like a ghost right now. She's Casper. I named the Casper. She's gold. That's what I want to do. I want to be Casper, but I, I. I want to be here too, so I don't know what to do. Maybe I should be here, but I hear no one say no. Nikki, with the wig. No, no. seriously, because no. I want to. I like it's so crazy how it's just. I know there's so much opportunities here, but it's just like I want to be so private at the same time. I love. I know. I love people not knowing anything about. I think me. we're good at keeping our business to our business. We, so. I know, because people, even though we still post, people don't know nothing about our lives. Literally, nothing. Literally, but. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope we answered a lot of your questions. I hope we answered your doubts, and guys. I know we make a lot of promises, but this time we're really gonna try to stick with it. I know Richard is watching. He's gonna come for us. Um. Yeah, I have nothing else to say. Yeah, guys, like, we love you. Subscribe. Toodaloo. Peace. Say bye, Stacey. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>